What's going on, y'all? Stig AJ. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you for stopping by, man. Today, I'm trying to build a championship team on 2K in what is undoubtedly the shortest season in NBA history. As you guys can see here, we have a 14-game regular season. The quarters are only one minute long, and then the playoffs also is just only one game per series. So if your team comes out cold for the first few minutes of a game, you're going to lose that thing. And if you lose your first few games of the season, well, then, hey, you might just miss the playoffs entirely. There's going to be pretty much no room for error here. I'm super excited for this. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. We just hit 2,500 subs on this channel. Thank you guys so much for that. And now I'm trying to get the three before the start of 2k24 so if you guys could help me out with that i'd really appreciate it but anyways man without any further ado it's time to get into this video let's get it i man so we're gonna start off with the fantasy draft per usual let's go ahead and randomly select our team here we're gonna stop this thing in three two and in one as we got the detroit pistons okay let's see what pick we have here because this is uh very important for this video and it's not gonna be a top 10 pick that's pretty tough we've got some pretty good picks lately um but yikes it's gonna be what is this pick number 21 yeah that's uh that's pretty brutal man now i don't get to make any of these picks we're gonna leave this up to the cpu so let's send this draft and see what the team's looking like all right man taking a look at the team we got kevin porter jr jalen brown laurie markinen trey murphy and daniel gafford i'm not gonna lie that's a pretty nice starting lineup a lot of young pieces so that's pretty good but anyways we also got tyus jones out the bench reggie bullock isaac okoro thomas bryant and also jalen smith that's a 10-man rotation again not too bad i'm actually pretty happy with that then we got some other guys here Derek favors jason richardson will barden and aaron holiday i mean overall this is pretty solid man we definitely have some trade pieces so so let's get into this thing all right so i'm just curious what can i get for jalen brown and my uh my top pick here i don't know how valuable it is but let's go ahead and see wow it's a three-star pick okay so we got some stuff to work with man let's look around here see if there's a good deal um there's devin booker that's pretty crazy they also want isaac okoro to give me royce o'neal that's not too bad i'm gonna keep that in my back pocket there um but shoot if we can get devin booker in the trade finder we can probably build an even better trade so let me try to put something together so i think i want to go for jimmy butler just because i never get him in my videos so let's try to put something together here man um we're gonna try tyus jones and what else can we do here to make the money match yikes i guess josh richardson okay that's good so it does match up we do have our pick here so let's go ahead and use that and um jalen brown I would love to keep him. Um, you know, if I can avoid trading him, that would be great. But um, we got two pretty valuable picks here, man. Is this enough for Jimmy Butler? Um, it's not. Okay, kind of figure. But I'm gonna throw in some more first round picks. I can get them back pretty easily. And there we go. Jimmy Butler, welcome to the team, man. That's a really good start. I mean, Loki, this is already a playoff team. Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Laurie Markinen, and Daniel Gafford. I do want to upgrade Gafford, though. If I can get a better center, that would be great. And you know what, man? We're the Pistons. We already have Jimmy Butler, Jalen Brown. Let's just try to be a really good defensive team. I think Anthony Davis will be nice for us. He's also another guy I don't really trade for too often. Obviously, I don't have enough right now in terms of like contracts and also first round picks. So let me get to work here. But Anthony Davis is going to be on this team. You got to love 2K, man. Aaron Holiday can give me a first round pick and a second round pick from the Clippers. Um, don't ask me why it'll do this deal, but I'll take it, man. I mean, this is pretty much his robbery, man. Derek Favors and a second round pick can get me two first round picks from my Golden State Warriors. Um, yeah, if this happened in real life, I would be heated, but in this video, I'll definitely take it. Here's another first round pick for Thomas Bryant. I can also get Chris Clemens. Um, yeah, man, you guys get the gist by now. I'm gonna do most of these trades off camera, but let me get back to you in a sec. All right, man, so you boys and working making some trades for first round picks. Now we got 10 of them things, which is definitely a lot to work with. Now I just need some bigger contracts to make the money match for AD. Let's do Reggie Bullock and I guess Jalen Smith here. Can that give me something in, I don't know, like the high teens would be great. Let's go ahead and look around here. Um, there's Karis LeVert and a first round pick. That's actually really nice. Yeah, this is an easy deal. Let's go ahead and make this one happen. But we still got a little bit of work to do here. All right, so I work my way up to Gary Harris, 13 M's. Let's go ahead and throw in him uh, with Karis LeVert. That should get us something in like the 30 range, right? Ben Simmons about 35 and a half M's. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that thing happen. All right, man, so the money matches up here. Let's go ahead and throw in some first round picks. Um, as many as it takes, honestly. Let's go ahead and see. I've got a lot of first rounders here. Are they going to say yes to this deal? Yeah, I kind of figured. I've got one more first round pick for you. And they're still saying no. That's tough. Back to the drawing board. I'm right, answered so the plan is to trade for some more valuable first round picks. And a Rockets have one is three and a half stars. I mean, that's as valuable as it gets. So let's try to pull this thing off here. Yeah, I kind of figured they would say no. I've got some more first rounders here. And there we go. Done deal. So there's Pascal Siakam. It's going to cost me Ben Simmons, Trey Murphy, and two first round picks. But I think it is worth it. That should get us a lot closer to AD. And we're also going to get Bobby Portis too. So I think that's a good deal. All right, man, let's try to get this thing done. Pascal Siakam, three first round picks, including that very valuable one. Is that enough for AD? It's still not. Come on, man. I've got some more first round picks here. They're still saying no. Bro, one more first round pick. And there it is. Anthony Davis, welcome to the team. Things are going pretty well, man. I definitely want a better starting point guard. I think KPJ will be good off the bench. Like him and Bobby Porter Jr., that's a really good duo for my second unit. But yeah, man, I'm definitely looking for that starting point guard. So let's see what I can find. So since we have Bobby Portis, I don't need Daniel Gafford anymore. Um, let's try him and not Isaac Okoro. I think I will keep him off my bench also. You know, he fits that defensive theme. So we're going to try Andre Godala and I guess a first round pick. Is that good enough to get us anything? There's John Wall on a first rounder. That's not too bad. Um, what else is out there? 
there's not a whole lot bro i guess i'll take this john wall trade it's an upgrade overall wise and we're also getting a first round pick back so yeah that's pretty solid let's do that deal but now i'm just back at it trying to get some more first round picks here's one for troy brown jr and also alex lynn that's an easy deal again i'm gonna do most of this off camera so just give me a second i got five first round picks but i do need some bigger contracts here we're gonna try thaddeus young and i guess Corey joseph can that give me something in like the uh the mid-teens possibly let's go ahead and see there's 14 for derrick rose okay it's gonna cost me a first round pick though i don't really love that but I think the best option, I think I saw a 13 here. Let me see. No, that was a first round pick also. Tough, bro. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to go with uh, with Derrick Rose here. A first round pick for Derrick Rose in 2023. Is that an L? Probably. But we need a bigger contract. Let's go ahead and do that. Isn't this the team I just give a first round pick to? I think it is. Yeah, because Corey Joseph. Okay. Well, I can get that first round pick back. So um, I'm definitely going to do that. And I get a bigger contract too. That's an easy deal. Now we're going to try Derrick Rose and Corey Joseph. Hopefully that will get us something. Um, and like the 20 range, I saw Eric Gordon there um, at about 19. There's also Tim Hardaway Jr. about 20 more or less. Let's do this deal. I'm pretty happy with that. And that should be a big enough contract to get a starting point guard. I don't know who that's going to be, but let's look around. Let's go for DeJounte Murray, man. I don't get him too often and the money should match up here. Yeah, it does. Um, the value is way off, but I've got some first round picks here. Let's go ahead and try a couple of them here. And there we go. Done deal. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be, but we'll take it. That's the starting five, man. We've got DeJounte Murray, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Laurie Markkinen, and Anthony Davis. Now that I think about it, Laurie doesn't really fit what we're trying to do here. You know, he's not really a defensive guy. Let's just see what's out there, man. Laurie Markkinen and um, I guess like Isaac Okoro. Can they get me something good with a first round pick? Let's go ahead and see what's out there. Um, there's the Aaron Fox. That would be pretty nice, man. I could move DeJounte Murray to the two. We'll have Jalen Brown at the three, Jimmy Butler at the four. Um, there's also Pascal Siakam, but that's like a marginal increase. I think I want to go with the Aaron Fox. Let's go ahead and make that trade happen. I feel pretty good about that. I'm glad I looked around. So now I really like the starting lineup. We got De'Aaron Fox, DeJounte Murray, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, and Anthony Davis. Off the bench, we still got like Bobby Porter Jr., Kevin Porter Jr., um, let's just get a whole bunch of juniors, man. Loki, if I can, I might just do that just for the memes. But anyways, I do want at least a nine man rotation. So let me get back to work. <laughs> I guess I'm going to do it, bro. Kenya Martin Jr. He's a junior, man. He's also a good player to have off the bench. So, uh, yeah, let's go to make this trade happen. And at this point we're in too deep. I got to get some more juniors. So let's do that. I need Kelly Uber Jr. In my life, man. What? I like that. Get your mind out the gutter. But anyways, we're going to try him for Alec Burks here. Um, straight up possibly. Yeah, no. Okay. That's fine. They want a first round pick. That's cool with me. Done deal. So I'm trying to get Wendell Carter Jr. The money matches up here with Darius Saric and Corey Joseph. Um, obviously the value does not, but we do have some first round picks here and this is my last trade. So honestly, I'm willing to throw them all in, but will they say yes to two of these things? Um, they're saying no, that's fine. Let's see. I've got one more here for you. They're still saying no. Come on, bro. One more first round pick and they're still saying no. That's actually pretty crazy. This should make it a little bit easier. I'm going for KCP here. The money's going to match up and he's more valuable. So let's do that deal. All right, so KCP is a 79 overall now. Let's go ahead and um, just throw in some first round picks, man. And I can't imagine it'll take a whole lot. The value actually matches up pretty well here. Um, they're still saying no. Come on, bro. One more first round pick. This is a crazy amount for Wendell Carter Jr., but it is what it is. Done deal. And that's the team, man. We got De'Aaron Fox, DeJounte Murray, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, and Anthony Davis. The starting lineup is really good. Off the bench, we got a whole lot of juniors, bro. Bobby Portis Jr., Wendell Carter Jr., Kevin Porter Jr., Kelly Oubre Jr., and Kenya Martin Jr. I mean, honestly, that can be a video in itself. There's like Jaron Jackson Jr., Michael Porter Jr. But anyways, man, let's get into simming here where, as you can see, uh, this is the shortest NBA schedule of all time. No doubt about it. Uh, man, there's like a one month gap right here between these two games. That's pretty insane. But anyways, let's get in the simming here. Honestly, I think we're just going to take a game by game here. Um, we already lost the game, bro. If we lose like, what is it? Probably like about seven, eight games. We might not make the playoffs entirely. Um, so yeah, just fill out this roster here. That's totally fine. Let's just see if we can get off to a good start, bro. We're 0 for 2. That's, uh, that's not a very good start, man. Um, it's just that really long gap there. We're 0 and 3. Oh, nah, bro not like this man are we gonna miss the playoffs entirely um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stop it we're owing four bro no shot right now um this is not good owen bro what is going on right now hold on hold on hold on why are we losing so many games it's 12 to 11 is the score by the way um 11 to 10 bro we're losing some close games here um this is so funny so i'm looking around trying to see who's underperforming and it's actually pretty hard uh because our leading score is averaging two points bro that's jimmy butler yeah this is uh this is gonna be tough bro let me look at the per 36 okay so 26 points he's doing well um anthony davis yeah he's doing pretty solid Dejounte murray shooting 50 percent from the floor uh the aaron fox bro 49 percent 
that's not very good dear and we might have to actually trade him now actually never mind it's Jayla Brown bro without a doubt the man is shooting 14% from the floor 17% from deep yeah you got to go my boy I'm sorry and you know what man I think I want to go for Bradley Beal here take a look at his per 36 stats 34 points the man is shooting 78% from the floor and 100% from deep he has not missed yet we got to get him on this team man there's no way around it it is a downgrade overall wise but honestly I don't care Jalen Brown just needs to go bro so yeah let's try to pull this thing off here and there we go done deal all right man so this looks a lot better here i think we should be good now um but bro, we have like no room for error we're the only winless team so far bro that is insane um can we even make the playoffs at this point i don't know but i mean there's the play-in yeah we still got a chance here so um we just gotta be uh we gotta be better than the magic okay two and a half games we can make that up we still got what eight games left so let's keep simming this thing are we gonna be able to make this thing if we could just get into the play it all feel good and we lost another game bro are you kidding me right now um fix the roster automatically i don't care about any of that um yeah wait wait wait. what was that there um hold up hold up hold up okay yeah they just they just sorted that weird but anyways bro we are zero and seven that's insane why do they hate this team i don't understand it um there we go we won our first game there we go okay little, little two game win streak we'll take that um two and seven and we lose again bro are you kidding me man three and eight okay three and nine yeah no nah, we're not making the playoffs boys there's no way that we're making the playoffs let me uh let's just skip all of this here there's a junior that we missed out on jabari smith jr um yeah man let's uh let's check this thing out here what team are we i already forgot um we're the pistons yeah the pistons um don't see anything that's fine but did we make the plan that's really all that matters here and we did not bro that is so brutal we finished tied bro we did get the tiebreaker that's so tough that is so tough man five and nine wow that's uh that's actually really really disappointing to not even make the play in with this team bro jimmy butler bradley beal De'Aaron fox anthony davis and dejounte murray and a bunch of juniors come on man this is uh this is pretty embarrassing i'm not gonna lie let's just take a look at the league leaders i'm really curious here john morant led the way five points per game shout out to him uh zion williamson four points darren jackson jr four points that's a junior who i could have gotten man that's for sure um, what about rebounds here? Nikola Jokic killing it on the glass, man. 1.4 boards per game. Shout out to him. Um, yeah. What about assists here? We got Josh Giddy, 1.5. Okay. Uh, bro, this is uh, this is pretty surprising that we didn't even make the plan. We're gonna send this whole thing here. Not like it really matters. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be the Utah Jazz. This is one game elimination, by the way. Um, and it's a manual quickly finals MVP. Bro, this is one of the toughest challenges I've ever faced. I'm not gonna lie. It's a championship game was 12 to 8, by the way. But hey man, I'm not scrapping this video. You can't win every single challenge. It is what it is. This was still a fun one, man. I'm definitely gonna revisit it in 2K24. But either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Again, we just hit 2,500 subs on this channel. Thank you guys so much for that. Now I'm trying to get to 3K before 2K24. So if you guys could help me out with that, that would be great. But anyways, this has been 2KJ. Blessings.